Hello, salikum. It's your girl Adira P. Welcome back to another vloggy vlog. Today's segment is gonna be the first of Tea with Adira P, where we basically spill the tea on me, on the world, on some of y'all maybe, and we're just gonna chit chat and have some fun. Today we're actually going to replant my plants. As I showed you guys, I think like the second or third vlog. Um, I have two plants, Keisha and Keyshawn. As you can see, Keyshawn is wilting because it gets dry like every other day. The soil was not good. The pot is not big enough for the both of them. Um, and they also need a pot with a, with a tray on the bottom so I can keep water on the bottom so they can stay hydrated. So that's what we're going to do while we chat. I got them some new pots from... Amazon. I thought these were really cute. I think I paid like 25 for these rose gold pots that I'm just loving. Um, now, don't be confused by the intro. I shot the intro a while ago. I'm not actually drinking any tea today, mainly because I don't want to. Like, I'm not, I'm not in the mood for tea. But in exciting news, today's December 6th. And it is my little brother, aka my child. You guys know, disclaimer, if you ever hear me make reference to, oh, my child or my son, I'm talking about my little brother. We just spend so much time together that I call him my son. Um, but he is, in fact, my little brother. Today is his birthday. He turns 11 today. So, alhamdulillah, I'm so happy about that. The thing about my little brother first of all he's my only sibling you know god was like one and done and he just he means so much to me and this is not even on some like fake deep oh my god i love him like more than just loving him like i like him as a child as a person like he is a likable person already he is so kind he is so compassionate he's so forgiving he's so understanding not to mention that he's funny like, he is funny. Like, some of the stuff that he says, some of the stuff that he does, I'm like, bro, where are you even coming up with this stuff? But he is hilarious. But what's what's so touching to me and why he's so important to my life, other than the fact that he's my sibling, December 14th of 2007, my grandfather passed away. Me and him were very close. So that was, like, very hard for me. Like, I was going through it. I was going through it. I was going through it. And December 6th of 2008, my little brother was born. So just a few days shy of a year of like the most tumultuous year of my life. The most depressing, the most anxious, just the worst year of my life. My little brother was born. So I've always, always considered him to be definitely a gift from Allah. Because even as like a baby, like I remember my first time going to the hospital to see him. He was just like this little baby that just had all of this love and was just bursting with just everything that I needed at that time that I got from this cute little baby. So I can't even believe he's already 11. I can't even believe it's been 11 years. Like, that's crazy to me. But inshallah, Allah will bless him with many more years and much success. I actually have some dirt to replant the plants. Um, and I'm so excited. I wanted to take him out for his birthday and everything but he's with my mom and he is i think he's going to basketball practice today bismillah i like to make dua over my plants because plants are living beings but i want to take this dirt off i wanted to buy him something but it's kind of like what do you get for somebody that gets everything they want all year round like he just got a coat the other day he gets sneakers all the time he's the youngest he gets everything he wants so i didn't know what to get for him but i think i'm just gonna give him some money so hopefully he'll be able to buy whatever he wants like he gets all the video games he gets all the everything so he's good but what else has been going on what's the tea the tea is today, like, I'm just not in a good mood. Like, I'm not in a good space. I'm not, you know, I'm just not. 
I'm not feeling good today. But sometimes there'll be days where I'm, I think I'm just having a bad day. But I'll tell myself or I'll try to observe myself to see what's really going on. Um, and which I highly instruct everyone else to do because as we know, your mental health affects you physically. And it's good to observe when you're going through a certain a certain um let's say train of emotions it's good to observe what your body is doing or like how your body is feeling so for me sadness deep sadness especially is in my head in my chest and in my throat so when i'm when i'm like really sad like really really sad my throat will swell um, like my tonsils will swell up. I'll, I'll never get headaches, but I will get headaches when I'm sad. Um, my heart will start palpitating. Like I'll have chest pains. Like it's bad when I'm anxious. That's all in my gut. So I'll either have to use the bathroom. I'll become constipated or, um, something like that. Like when I'm worried about something that also will be in my gut. So just observe yourself to make sure or to really it's also a way to combat it um, a way for me to stay up on my mental health like I do. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. Hold. Wait. First of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. My mental health. My mental health. To stay up on my mental health, especially with my anxiety, I'll do breathing exercises. Because I know that my chest is going to get tight. I won't eat a whole lot because I know that my body may get constipated. You know, like stuff like that. But today, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But I'm just trying to chill out. Have a good day. I was like, let me turn on the camera and record a video. As we know, Iman, which is faith, kind of fluctuates. You're going to have lows, you're going to have highs, you're going to have ups, you're going to have downs. Like, that's just what happens. That's just a part of being a part of any type of faith, is your faith is going to fluctuate. And right now, I feel like mine is fluctuating because I'm, like, super late on prayers. I'm just not being disciplined. I'm just not not doing what I'm, I'm supposed to do and... Putting off prayer and saying, oh, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. And then before you know it, later never comes. So I'm trying to stay on top of that. For me, with my faith, even though I know it's going to fluctuate, I, when I'm at a high, I do my best to create habits. I do my best to make things habitual to make things a routine and I have the mindset of sometimes I just have to do it like with Salah especially with prayer sometimes I'm not always gonna feel like it but in the moment like as soon as I say dad bro I should make prayer I try my best to go do it I try my best to just to just get it done because the quicker you get it done it's just done and um I actually shared it on Instagram the other day that I have a favorite hadith and a part of the hadith is like so special to me because you know when like you feel like God is like sending you a message at like the perfect time I'm, I'm sticking to the fact that Allah sent me that message at like the perfect time I don't remember what it was but I just remember per usual I was just going through something and uh, a part of the hadith says the, it's the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam telling us that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said and if you walk to me I come to you at speed which is like Allah, like God of everyone and everything who could really just end things with just, you know, at his own free will, just do whatever it is that he wants to do, who has given us everything, who we be continue to betray again and again and again and again, is telling us, bro, you just try and I'm willing to meet you more than halfway. So through everything that I'm going through, I know Allah is the most merciful. Like, he's the most merciful, he's the most kind, he's genuine, he's not spiteful, he's not going to do anything to try and sabotage me, and 
you know, I hope and pray that Allah loves me. And his love for me and my love for him continues to grow. I mean. What else is the tea? What else is the tea? The tea with my... Which, oh, uh, With my life. I don't even know. I don't even know. Some days I wake up and I have everything figured out. Some days I wake up and I don't even know. I don't even know what I want to do, where I want to be at. If I'm good where I'm at. I don't even know. Like, I have no idea. And I'm trying to be gentle with myself. Because I do not go by these European, the white man created it basically, these timelines of what your life is supposed to be and by 18 you move out and by the time you finish college and you get a family and you get married and you start this and you do this. I'm trying to do everything on my time bro. Cause my life is by my time, it's on my terms. So I'm just trying to be gentle with myself but it's just really like, you know, I know they love me and they support me, but it's really like my family. Like they be saying little things and like making little comments. And it really, I'm good at admitting when it's me. Cause you know, sometimes you're just in a sensitive spot and it's really just you. Like nobody's saying anything intentional. You're just taking everything the wrong way. And it's really just on you. But they just been making little comments. I'm not saying that they're they're intentionally trying to be mean or spiteful or whatever. But they just been saying little stuff and I'm just like Why are you even saying that? Like and it's just making me feel some type of way. And it might be me. You know, I might just be in a very sensitive spot right now. But I don't know. Like a family member told me the other day, they're like, oh, you're going to be 24 next year. So what's going on? Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, what do you want me to say? Like, you want me to lie and tell you that I have things figured out and that I know what's going on and I know where my life is supposed to. I don't. I don't. I don't. Like, I'm, I'm steadily trying to figure it out. I have plans that I have. I have plans that. A lot put into place that I'm thankful for, but I don't know. And I'm, I'm trying to be okay with not knowing. I'm trying to be okay with, you know, give yourself some time to do it, to figure it out. But it's mad frustrating. It's mad frustrating. Like every freaking week of like, well, what's it gonna be? Like, I don't know. And it's crazy because I'm steadily telling people, bro, like, be gentle with yourself. You know, have faith in yourself or whatever, whatever. And I just feel like I'm not doing that for myself. And that's frustrating me. That's causing me so much frustration. It's causing me so much frustration. But... You know, I'm just trying to leave it in Allah's hands. And the only thing I can say is I'm going to take care of what I'm in control of. Because that's all I really can do. But Allah knows what's best. So I'm going to have faith that Allah is not going to steer me wrong. I know that. Allah is not going to do anything to <laughs> ruin my life or put it in shambles. So I'm taking it one day at a time looking into stuff and trying to tell myself that it's okay to change your mind it's okay to want to do something different it's okay to wake up one day and you don't want to be that person no more you don't want to have this thing or you don't want to chase this goal because that's just not where you at right now but we'll see bro well, this soil looks good oh this is not the same dry soil we might have to keep that one I'm thankful and I thank Allah from the bottom of my heart for the people that Allah has put into my life, the people that love me, that choose me, that value me, that encourage me, that support me, that reprimand me. I'm so thankful for them. I'm so thankful for them. And some of them Allah had just put into my life this year and they mean so very much to me so very much to me so 
And Allah continue to bless that. And I, I, I said it before and I'll say it again. I pray Allah takes my life before I ever cross people that love me. And that's when the period. I have a couple shows coming up. Um, December... December 14th, Saturday, December 14th, I will be performing in Detroit. I will put the link for that below. December 21st, I will be performing at Love Notes featuring the Village Auntie and Coach Q. Um, that is going to be December 21st. And I think those are the only two shows I have coming up this month. I think... But yeah, stay connected with me on my social medias to learn about when I'm going to be performing, where I'm going to be at. Da -da 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 -da. I just finished planting my plants and they are just the cutest thing. I have to water Keyshawn before he starts going crazy. And I got dirt all over my floor, oh, Lord. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to um, T with a Dear P. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Keep up with me on all my socials. Let me know in the comments. What type of content you want to see any challenge or anything of that i should do hope you guys enjoyed the little chit chat hopefully next time i will be in a much better mood but again this channel is going to be truth honesty transparency some laughter some love and some fun um but i just wasn't feeling fun today so i'm not gonna force it but i look forward to seeing you guys soon bye